Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Sorry if this video is gonna be a little glary. I just got home from work and I'm at my dining table and that's like when the sun comes in. But anyways, I am going to film this video no matter what because when I got home from work, there was a huge box on my doorstep and I was very excited. I have some of the back to school items to share, which to me, most of the back to school items are more like spruce up your office kind of a item for me. I don't know. I mean, I would have loved these things when I was in school too, but that didn't happen. So the majority of these items I'm actually gonna take to my office and I wish I could show you guys photos of my office, but because of like issues, I can't. Um, so anyway, I can show like little snippets of my office. Maybe I'll be able to share just a little bit, um, but there's like sensitive information on my desk all the time. So anywho, all right. So the first thing I want to talk about is this bad boy. Oh my gosh. doesn't even fit in the frame. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom out. All right, this is as zoomed out as I can get, y'all. Okay, so this is the desk organizer. It's the set of four desktop organizer. It includes a pen holder, a letter sorter, magazine tray, and a magazine file. There are two different designs. There's the kaleidoscope, which is beautiful, and it only comes in the colorful. It does not come in a neutral. And then this is the retro stripes, and these retail for $26. Um, so let's open this up. Oh no. You guys see? Oh no. It's got like, must have been damaged in shipping. That's sad. Okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's take a look and see. Come on up. Y'all are seeing the real unboxing here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna remove this little thing. There's always like so much stuff off camera. <laughs> okay, so how do I get all this out of here? Okay, looks like, oh, just comes out like this. Okay, cool. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Here is the magazine holder, and it actually has a gold little, you know, insert here, so you could like write something if you wanted. Um, but yeah, and then the bottom actually has the pattern as well. Um, sorry, it can't like show it in the frame very well, but it has um, that kind of Erin Condren blue color on the inside, and this feels like I don't know. It feels like a really sturdy like chipboard if that makes sense like it's it's very substantial but you you know clearly wouldn't want to get it wet or anything so anyway that's that one and then here is the pen holder which is also that kind of Erin Condren like bluish teal um, all the way around and then it's got the stripes on the inside I hope you guys can see that and then you can actually take these out if you'd like so you can make it like two sections or one section or just throw them back in here and make it four again if i can do it there we go i did it yay so that is coming with me to the office also whoop, there's like little random boxes around so and then this is a little I don't know, here, like if you look at it like this, um, it's kind of bent a little bit, oh, kind of sucks. I think mine got smooshed a little bit, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so you could put like pens or like sticky note pads, scissors, like anything you wanted in here, which I think is great. Um, again, with the stripe pattern. And then last but not least is this letter tray, which I think is adorable. However, oh, mine's damaged actually on both sides. Look at that. Can you see? That's sad. Um, yeah, and it's kind of damaged right there. Again, it has the little gold plate right there, so you could put something in there. I love what the inside looks like. It's very, very nice. Um, and then it's the blue all the way around. I'll probably contact customer service about that because um, that is definitely something that shouldn't be happening. But you know what? Sometimes it happens, guys. Sometimes it just happens. So. Anyway, that is it for that item. Next up are these guys. These are the metallic charcoal pen and clip holder. These retail for $16. I got the charcoal, which is like kind of more of the gray and has the metallic gold. There is also a metallic 
blush, I can't even say that, I wanted to say brush, a blush pen and clip holder, um, and you guys know how I feel about rose gold. So, because um, it's rose gold uh, accents on that one, so that's why I got this, plus I love gray, and I really enjoy gold. So, let's take these out, and I'll show you all the goods. All right, so these are like a plastic, so we have a tall pencil cup, and then we've got a shorter cup that's actually a little bit of a lighter gray. I'm not sure if that's gonna come off on camera very well. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit more. Can you guys see that? It's like a different color. So it's a little bit lighter than this. And then here are the paper clips. You get eight binder clips and then 20 paper clips. Um, so yeah, I like this box. It's really kind of cute. I might keep this box for, I don't know. Hoarding, hoarding purposes. <laughs> so yeah, the box is kind of like unnecessary because this is what's in there, but whatevs. Okay, and so I think the idea is you put your pens in here and then you put your little clippy dudes in here. So then, whoop. so these are the binder clips and I use binder clips and uh, paper clips all day. And I like that it has the matching gold hardware. That's really nice. Oh yeah, these are good, these are good clips. And they're a good size too. Um, and then also we've got the paper clips, which I am actually a big fan of the paper clips that have, um, this has like a little bit of like a rubber coating on it. It's probably hard to see. Um, but I am a fan of the ones that have like the little lines on it, like it catches the paper a little bit better. It's like the non-slip ones. But yeah, but you could, you know, put whatever you want to in there. So these are gonna come to the office with me and I'm going to use them there. And I'm actually gonna put all of the things in here because I think they're all gonna fit. We got some, we got some rogue pieces here. All right, so that is that. And then I also decided to grab these. These are the gold page markers and they are 650. They, I, do they have it? Hold on, I have my um, website up here. They don't have them in rose gold. A lot of the stuff that they have for the new um, back to school office collection has gold and rose gold options. But this one just comes in gold, which you know I love. And now that I'm kind of going through things, I think I ordered the gold memo board but I'm not sure. I have to go back and look because I swear I ordered that, but it was not in my bag, uh, or not my bag, my, um, you know, what am I trying to say? My box, that's what I'm trying to say. Words are hard today. All right, let's do this. Okay, come on, oh jeez. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, it's like, random okay so you get six little page flaggy do's um oh cheapers <laughs> having issues today um let's see here all right and i actually watched a couple other youtube videos of people sharing this and that some of them were kind of more difficult to use and I want to try them for myself. Oh, I see. Okay, so this like goes on like that, if that makes sense. These s seem to me like very tight, so it might be something that you wanna use for like cardstock material and not pieces of paper or several pieces of paper maybe, um, but they're very sturdy. I do like them, that's nice. Definitely um, bringing those out to the office. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna keep these here. Yep, Emily's gonna keep these here. All right, and the last thing that I have to show you today are these pretty little palm push pins. Of course, I got them in the gold because, you know, it's all good. These are, hold on, did I say how much these, these are 650. I don't know if I said that. Sorry if I didn't say that. The uh, push pins are also 650. I got the palm one. These do come in a rose gold as well. And then they also come in gold and rose gold in a cactus, I believe. Am I right? Yeah, cactus. And then um, there's other push pins available as well, just kind of like traditional push pins too. So 
These are really cute. And you know what I'm gonna do with these is I am going to put them on my like enameled pin cork board um, because they're so small, kind of fill in some gaps that I have. I think that's gonna be really, really cute. So I'm gonna actually log in to my Erin Condren account and see if I bought the magnetic memo board. I swear I did, but I could totally be mistaken. Oh, I actually ordered the cactus ones as well and I didn't get them. Well, that's kind of a bummer. And I did order the gold memo board, darn it. Okay, well, <laughs> the gold memo board, if you guys wanna see, sorry that this is like not, <laughs> the way I should be doing this, but oh well. Hopefully it's focusing for you guys. Um, this is the gold memo board, and it does retail for $12. Um, and it is, if you can see, I'm sorry, I have to do it like this, guys. Um, these little guys on the edges are actually magnetic, so I was gonna try it on my fridge and see if I liked it. Um, you can also hang it like on the wall and stuff too. So yeah, that's such a bummer. Yeah, I ordered these as well, the gold cactus ones. Um, I thought I had, but I'm like, oh, maybe I decided not to. Um, that's such a bummer, okay. That's all right. I will just contact customer service and get the rest of my fun things. But yeah, that is going to be it for me. Let me, whoa, let me get you out of <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to play with all of these things. Um, when the other items arrive, I'll probably post a little something on Instagram so you guys can see. I'm sure that the items are great. Uh, also, I will be, unfortunately, <laughs> contacting customer service about my little box. That's so sad. <laughs> But yeah, I have a lot of, unfortunately I have a lot of things to contact customer service about, which really stinks, but oh well. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I will uh, definitely get the items that I had purchased and I'm sure that they will send them to me pretty fast here. So anyways, but that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Also, if you're interested for, interested for, um, interested in anything Erin Condren related, feel free to check the links below. If you've never ordered anything from Erin Condren, there is a special link for you. What you do is you sign up using that referral link and it will end up giving you $10 off of your next purchase. Erin um, Condren is gonna send you a couple of different emails when you sign up and then look out for that $10 off coupon. And when you use that for your first purchase and your item ships, then I get a $10 referral as well, which is how I can bring you guys these fun hauls so I can share new items with you guys and my thoughts. So anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.